What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so we're finally here in the Pokemon League, and, uh, well, like I said, I do what I want. So I'm going to split this up into three episodes because, well, shoot, we got to get something out of the week, right? Right. Anywho, in the last episode, we went through Victory Road, Hoenn's Victory Road, I should say, and, uh, we did pretty good, and, uh, well, we were trying to decide on what team we need to bring out, and, uh, well, let's see. I'm kind of thinking that we need to switch up Frost right here, because I do have Gaia, and Claymore, I get it, guys, Claymore is, uh, well, Claymore is Claymore. Hmm. But then again, you know what? I think I know what I'm going to be doing right here, guys. Uh, so... I just got it. We're going to be going with speed because, well, shoot, we don't have a lot of it. And the Pokemon I choose for speed is our good old buddy, uh, Crobat, right here. So we're going to be switching it out. And, uh, well, we're going to be going with this team right here. Yes, I get it. It's a mixture of different Pokemon and all that crud. I already stocked up on, uh, on items and everything else. And, uh, well, the only thing we need to do now is... Uh, yeah, beat everybody here in the Pokemon League. So, let's go right ahead and be judged by these two guys. He's like, only trainers who have collected all eight gym badges may go beyond this point. Please permit us to evaluate your worthiness, trainer. Trainer, believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth! Okay. Alrighty, so maximum effort here, guys. Look at that. And, uh, well, it is time to take the Pokemon League challenge. And, well, since we already masters at this... We probably should be switching out Tommy JDF to, to the front because, yes, this is going to be very quick, very, very bad for this person right here. And right before we enter this uh, door, look at that. Something opens. And, uh, oh, wow. Okay. Alrighty. I see. Hmm. Okay, so here it is. Uh, a nice, uh, you know... Nice house right here and all that crud. And, well, there is somebody waiting for us. Oh, my God. Look at that. It has to be a pose. Every single time, it has to be some kind of anime pose and stuff. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. Yeah, nobody asks. But, here we go. Let's go right ahead and just take on this guy right here. Okay. I like the look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good. Re looking real good. All right, let's get down to the new battle uh, that can only or that can happen only here in the Pokemon League. Okay. Look at that. He's he 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 thinks he's gonna beat me. It's kind of like me saying like he thinks he's people. <laughs> okay. <coughs> oh man, didn't want to cough right here. But here we are taking on Sydney. And if you guys didn't know, Sydney is a Dark type trainer. Yes, we got the moves. We're about to beat the you-know-what out of this Pokemon trainer. And, well, as you guys can see, Mightyena does have Intimidate, so he's going to lower our attack, our physical attack, just a little bit. No biggie, because we're 17 levels above it. And we're going to go with a Sky Uppercut Shoryuken. And there we go. Mightyena has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Tommy JDF taking some points. Talks to Batman without doing anything. Gets, uh, you know, it, it gets some love right there. So here we go with Shift Tree. And this Pokemon's looking pretty mean right here. Now, off screen, I did teach uh, Tommy JDF Flamethrower. Yes, it, it's kind of like a, a bump down from its stats, but I kind of need uh, I kind of need something a little more powerful eh, that won't be like too too much of a downgrade. So, as you guys can see, Flamethrower for the win. Yes, Tommy JDF kicking ass, taking names, and Levi Leviathan and Frost are just getting some levels right here. And here comes Absol. Alrighty. Bring it on, Absol. Look at that Mohawk-looking Pokemon. We're going to go with another Shoryuken. And just like that, Absol defeated. Yeah, this guy has no chance whatsoever against Tommy JDF. And look at that. Without doing anything, Gaia grows to level 60. And here we go with Sharpedo now. Sharpedo is a uh, it's an interesting Pokemon. Just remember that if you physically hit it, it will you it will have its rough skin to hit you back and well it is a little faster than us but here comes the show you can and show you can get it but we do get a little bit of rough skin right there so yeah okay alrighty look at that okay 
And here comes a Cacturn, so time to sweep this Pokemon with our majestic AF, Tommy JDF. Let's go straight for a, a flamethrower right here. Look at that, flamethrower for the win. How do you like us now? So that was easy. That was very, very easy. And, well, Sydney is not liking us right now. He's like, well, how do you look uh, like that? I lost. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was fun, so it doesn't matter. Well, it wasn't fun for you because you got like three hits in and that's pretty much it. Well, listen to this. Or listen to what this loser has to say. Uh, you've got uh, what it takes to go a long way. Go on to the next room and challenge your next battle. Okay. So the next battle is uh, going to happen. Now, what I'm going to do right here is I am going to heal up my Pokemon. Now, I did have five rare candies. Now, the idea was to use these five rare candies on uh, Claymore, but since I thought against it, I was like, you know what? I got Toxic Batman right here. Might as well use that. Like, might as well just bring Toxic Batman and then, you know, wasting five good uh, rare candies and all that stuff. So here we go. Let's get the heck in here. And wow. Okay, look at the look at the le uh, look look at the flowers. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay. This person has style. Lots of style. Oh wow. Okay, so I'm seeing spirits. Turn on everything. Okay, so huh. That is a uh, that is scary. That is a uh, very very scary. So, let's see. I have to switch to Gaia because, well, Frost may be a ghost type Pokemon, but I do not, uh, actually, I do not want, want it to take on these ghost type Pokemon right here. So, there she is. Mm, 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 mm. Looking beautiful as always. Here she is, guys. <laughs> I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. Is she from like the Alola region or something? I I I, I want to know. And what is going on? I did my training at Mount Pyre. While while I trained there, I gained the ability to commune with Ghost type Pokemon. You did, didn't you? Uh, okay, so that's kind of scary. And uh, the bond I developed with my Pokemon is extremely tight. Come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. And she's all happy. Okay, so here we go, guys. Round two. In the Elite Four Challenge, we are taking on Phoebe. I used to call her Phoebe. Look at that! Look at that! I like her. I like her. Her, her thingies on the on the side. It, it, they're very nice. And here she's coming out with a Dusclops. This Pokemon right here, as you guys already know, is a tank of a Pokemon. And well, it does. It, it is coming out with a pressure. So let's go right ahead and go with a Dazzling Gleam. See if that actually works right here. So Dazzling Gleam. Not so effective, but it still does a, a a nice amount of damage, and oh my god, I am confused. Okay, here we go, Dazzling Gleam, and there is a full restore being used by Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. I don't even know how to say her name, I'm just playing. And we get hurt. Okay, so we are in a spot right now, and come on, come on, yes, there we go, Dazzling Gleam for the win. And that almost beats it. So here comes a curse attack. This will make Dusclaw faint, but it will inflict our good old guy uh, with a little bit of a curse. Now I will have to switch out my Pokemon right here because yeah, that that curse is going to it's going to mess me up. So here comes a Bayonet. The next Pokemon I'm going to come out with is Thunderball because this Pokemon right here is faster, and it's earned its place right here on my team. So here comes Bayonet. And Bayonet is looking all funny and scary looking right here. So let's go with a Discharge attack. And look at this. Discharge does its trick right there. And here comes a Spite attack. Now, you guys don't know, Spite does take a, or reduces the PPs out of a Pokemon's uh, previous used move. And, oh, well, here comes a, uh, what was it called? A Full Restore. So here we go. Charge Beam. For the win. Not really, but we do get an increase in special attack. So here we go. Another charge beam for the win. And there we go. Oh my god. Thunderball is just taking advantage of pretty much everything right here. And just like that, Thunderball grows to level 63. And, well, we're going to keep him out on the field because Sableye is coming out. And it does have two power ups onto its special attack. So. Discharge is going to... Oh, crap, baskets. Yeah. 
Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's get it. Come on. Do it for the Vichys. And look at this. Sableye had no chance. I hate Fake Out. I really do. It's it's an annoying move. And Frost, without doing anything, gets a little bit of a, another level right there. And here we are taking on another Bayonet. And thankfully, we do have a two-level power-up right here due to uh, Charge Beam. So th this is going to become easy. And just like that. Ooh. Yes, we're, we're, we're getting some points. And Talks of Batman grows level 48 right here and is learning Air Slash. This move is, let's see, user, user's attacks with a, with a blade of air that slices even the sky. This may also make the Pokemon flinch. I already have a flying type move. Maybe later on I will teach it. Who knows? We'll see. And, well, here comes a Dustnor. I'm going to stay put with the good old Pokemon Thunderball right here. And Dustnor... This Pokemon right here. This Pokemon is a scary one. Now, here we go. Getting it with a discharge attack, and Dusnor is no more. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. And Leviathan grows a level 62. Tommy JDF, level 68. And there we go. We have defeated Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. And, well, let's see. There's definitely a bond between you and your Pokemon, too. I didn't recognize that fact, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far uh, your bond car will carry you. Go ahead, move on to the next room. Okay, so like I said before, guys, this whole thing will be split up into three episodes just so we can get to uh, episode 65 and all that crud. I'll see you guys in the next episode as we take on uh, the next two Elite Four members. See you guys.